Hey, welcome to the Enemy Awards. How are you feeling about tonight? We feel good. Do you feel good? I feel yeah, very I feel good. good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think we all feel good. Yeah, yeah, we all feel good. It's, I mean, you told Enemy, I think, that you're ready to bring the chaos tonight. We told Enemy that we're ready to bring chaos tonight. Bring the chaos. We said that. Who said that? I didn't say that. Was that uh, you? I didn't say that. Like something like that. <laughs> Maybe he said it, I don't know, but I don't think we're going to bring much chaos tonight. Chaos? No, we'd like to, but I didn't prepare anything. <laughs> and um, what are you looking for? Are you looking forward to meeting anyone tonight or hanging out with anyone? Well, I want to see Sam, our good friend Sam Fender. Um, it's always good to see him. And then, I don't know, who else is around? Slowside coming this year? I think Slowside. Are you allowing Slowside to come this year? Uh, well, yeah, he might be back. Well, if he was here, I'd be looking forward to seeing him. But uh, if not, Lil Sims, Lil Sims is here. I think that album, that, that's one of the best albums I've heard in a long time. And this isn't your first Enemy Awards. How have you found the past ones? It feels more hectic than the last one for some reason. <laughs> I wasn't here for the last one, so I don't know. It's all news to you. And how are you feeling about um, the awards, the, your, your nominations tonight? We have one nomination. Uh, I feel the same as I felt about all the nominations we've had, which is probably we won't win, but it's good to be the underdog. Are you prepared to speak? Have you? What? Huh? you prepared to speak? Uh, no, I couldn't have... Um, you know, my plan is to pull it out of the bag in the five frantic, sweaty, f frenetic minutes before. Let my anxiety do the trick. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan. Yeah, yeah, well, it's worked before, it's working now. How will you celebrate if you win? Well, we have a party going on somewhere in Soho, so we'll just celebrate there. And I don't have anything planned. I, I really don't think we're going to win, so I, I haven't planned anything. <laughs> <laughs> And what's next for you? What do you have coming up? We've got a new album coming out called Skinty Fear. It comes out in April. And then we'll be touring for at least a year. And I hope our management doesn't make that in two years. What, what, what can we expect from the album? How does it move things on? Can I take that? How did, what do you expect from the album? You take that. <laughs> I expect it to do better than the last two. Unit sales, boys. Unit sales. Are we talking impact. unit sales? Unit sales and the cultural impact. Yeah, yeah. It's all about the unit sales, you know. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's a, it's, it's a, it's an album of necessity, which is good because I was kind of worried that you know the last two were so kind of uh, necessary for us to write. Personally, um, that I'm, I'm glad that we found that necessity again. Otherwise, we would have kind of written a, I don't know, a sort of limp sort of a uh, pseudo expression but uh, this this feels like it's coming from a real place so yeah I mean there's been collaboration expecting, expecting five stars from enemy oh definitely there's been collaborations with slow tie you've been in the studio with him are there any other upcoming collaborations well green did a few tunes with uh, K, K Tempest. yeah I did a few tunes it's gonna uh, they're gonna be on uh, their new album um, the line is a curve uh, which is out very soon. Really looking forward to hearing what people think about that. Kay is obviously a, a huge inspiration. Their lyrical style is incredible. And uh, I feel like always will be, you know, there's kind of a, a an endless, you know, um, like vase of lyrical ideas coming from them. So, yeah, looking forward to hearing the rest of it. What was it like working with Kay? Uh, nerve wracking, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, nerve wracking. Yeah, I, w I wouldn't tell him that, but uh, it was. I think um, it was one of those moments I kind of got in the studio and uh, they were like endlessly supportive as soon as I started doing my vocal part like you know they were just like sort of like yeah yeah it was, they, were, they, 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 were, they were great to work with because they weren't um, in any way kind of interfering they understand the process of it being like a, a direct link from you know your heart uh, to the actual you know to the page and um, yeah so they were a blessing. Thank you so much and have an absolutely brilliant night. Yeah.